<laughs> All right, uh, so let's go and take a look at it. We got kind of a lot going on. But let's go and start with something that's probably most familiar with you guys. Now, we did a lot of these with functions, if you guys remember. But let's kind of like take a look at the graph, because I think the graph is fairly easy. So remember what g of whatever value is. That's what your x value is. And then we're looking basically for the y value. So g of 2, if we go over to 2, you can see that the output there is 1, right? g of 0, if we go to 0, we see, ooh, we have a hole, right? That is like a removable discontinuity, correct? Right over there. Hey, remember that? Those have been up there the whole year. Remove discontinuity. There is no value for the function at there, so therefore, that does not exist. And then over here, we have g of negative 1. Again, we go over negative 1, and again, that does not exist. So I'll add a hole. Okay? But now let's talk, about our, uh, let's talk about our limits. Okay? Again, we're not talking about what is the value of the function. We're just talking about what is the value that we are approaching. Okay? So as x goes to infinity, you guys can see here, as we're going to infinity, the f of x function is going up. right? So therefore, it's going towards infinity. There's no m behavior to the left, because you guys can see that this graph doesn't really have an arrow going left. So there is no m behavior. right? So we won't ask you a question like that. Uh, the limit as uh, x approaches 2 from the right, so here's 2. So as we're, getting to the, as we're coming from the right, what value are we getting closer and closer to? 1. What about as we approach 2 from the, oops, that wasn't supposed to be from the left. Huh? Uh, let's just do 2 from 2, not left. What happens when we approach 2 from the left and from the right? What value we get? Positive 1. Just remember, guys, to evaluate the general limit, both the left and the right have to be the same. It's very important. And we'll get to our first, we'll get to our first case um, here where we're going to have an issue with that. So the next one is 0 from the right. So you guys can see 0 from the right. As we're coming to 0 from the right, okay, we know 0 is undefined, right? But what value is it getting really, really close to as we get really, really close to 0? Negative 1. Negative 1 this time. What about as we approach 0 from the left and the right? What value are we getting really, really close to? Negative 1. Negative 1. OK. Now, oh, I didn't ask for this. OK, so negative 1 from the right. So now we're going to negative 1. So as we're coming to negative 1 from the right, from the right hand, we're getting closer and closer to? Positive 1. Positive 1. Oh, you want harder problems? Oh, okay. Now, let's go and take a look at this one. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. So you have limit as x approaches negative 1. So that means, again, for the general limit, our left and our right have to be the same. So we know the right-hand limit goes to 1. Let's look at the left-hand limit. So here's negative 1. Is there anything going on to the left of negative 1? No. So is it true? It's, can we have our left and our right be the same? There is nothing on your left, and the right goes to 1. Well, since they're not the same, the general limit does not exist. Yep. Yeah, just give me one second. So it's very important for you guys to understand. I'm going to say this because the next couple of problems this is going to come up. The general limit does not exist when the left and the right do not approach the same value. Okay. They can approach values that are holes. That's fine. They can approach asymptotes. That's fine. But if they approach different values, it does not exist. And we're going to do a couple examples now. Okay? Like 